Hello everyone, welcome to group discussion 2. We are from LEX 2043, group 64. My name is Chia Yiching. My matrix number is 1978489. My name is Lian Kama Tong Lian and my matrix number is 1982289. Hi, uh, my name is Aina Ilya Winti Aziman and my matrix number is 1924388. Hi everyone, my name is Jin Pinjin and my matrix number is 196425. My name is Yang uh, Xiaoxing. My matrix number is 196623. <laughs> my name is Wan Mok Ma'is. Uh, my matrix number is 194347. Hello and hi everyone. My name is Mama Ifan my metric number is 200612. And hello, my name is Tan Xin Leng and my metric number is 195997. All right, so this is uh, the group discussion for our game one. So just now we have played our game one, which is taboo. Uh, so me and Ping Jie are the game masters for, uh, for our game one. So um, let me introduce the game of taboo first. Taboo is a word uh, guessing and party game published by Parker Brothers in 1989. And the objective of the game is for a player to have their partners guess the word on the, uh, on the player's card with his own words without using the word itself or any description listed on the card. And for the amount of prayers for this game is about two or more people. So there are eight people of us. So it is suitable for us to play this game together. And the praying time for this game will be between five to 15 minutes. For the rules and the ways on how to play this game, I, I pass to Pinjay to briefly explain it. Um, thank you, Yiching. Now I would like to explain on how the game is played. Uh, we are divided into two, two groups, which are Team A and Team B, and me and Yiching are the game master for this game. So each group has chosen a person to guest, and another two members are the crew giver. Then me and Yiching randomly choose one card with the word that we prepare early and let the crew giver see, and the person who is going to guest close their eyes so that you cannot uh, see the word and then we press the timer everyone has to take turn to be the person who gets the word until all the member is done and each person is given two words to guess so they seek word all together in one team in one round five minutes is given uh, to each group and which team can done their guess by using the lesser time is winner so this is roughly how we play the game and the game is running smoothly in the end. Um, um, so I would like to ask after playing the game, uh, I would like to ask you to share your experience uh, playing the game. Are the rules easy to understand? Is it fun? Does this game help you improve your language? Anyone want to share with us? I think personally, this game is quite challenging for me because I really took quite a lot of time to describe the words <laughs> to, so that my teammate can guess it as fast as possible. Um, but actually, I think that this game should be easier if we play with someone that we know, such as our family or our friends. Uh, because there are common knowledge among us. We can make use of the strategy like, remember that time we go IOI City Mall to eat something so that our teammate can get it faster. Uh, how about you guys? Uh, okay, uh, for me, uh, this taboo game is fun and interesting because this game is quiet help for people who want to in, who want to learn about English language and it is fun to play with friends because it will 
it will close our bondings together. That's from me. How about sin? Um, well, after I have played the game, I found that Taboo is a very simple game to understand and it is easy to play. I think that Taboo is a great game for party because it needs only little uh, explanation about the rules for those who don't understand the game. And it can be easily um, pick it up and put it down whenever you want <laughs> to stop playing because it is just a stack of cards. It is uh, easy to uh, have a good, it is good to portable. And another reason I found that this game is good because it is free. You, uh, we can make the card by ourselves to play. <laughs> and this game is great for families or friends to play together as it can, and it can bond, uh, our, increase our uh, relationship and bonds. And it is also good for increasing your ability of expression skills for taboo because it needs you to describe multiple meanings of, that a word could have. This is my opinion. What about the others? Yeah, I also agree. I think that um, this taboo will actually really improve our English language because in order to describe the word given, then we have also re like restrictions on words that we, we cannot use. So then those words are very um, common to describe that, that, um, that big word that we're supposed to describe. So I think it helps us improve our vocabulary to, to think of other ways to describe this one word. And like what um, Lang also said, that um, it is very easy to get access to because you, all you need is just a paper and pen and just write the word that you're going to describe and the restriction words. Yeah. So I think it's a very fun game also to play. Um, I am agree with uh, the end because uh, as we know that the, the words that display and we need to uh, search for other words to uh, explain about the things or the words itself so it can broaden our um, our vocabulary and broaden our our first uh, thinking about the the words itself and then for my uh, it also can enhance our uh, teamwork uh, and our bonding with our friends because it must be played in a team and it's also uh, uh, increased our um, uh, uh, energy and fun uh, in our environment. Tabu is one word with game uh, which can be played with a group of friends. The, the objective is to dress work written to talk card, uh, curtain rules, uh, the rules for the uh, player from picking out uh, any word uh, using hand gesture or body movement or using work from another language, is that right? I think I um, totally, uh, totally agree with what you all said before. Uh, this game is, this game can bring quite a lot of benefits to us in terms of it can improve our English level and it is uh, low cost and I think that this game can also boost up our mental flexibility as it can inspire our creativity when we thinking out of the ways to describe the words and it's also suitable to play by all age group. If we play this game with our younger brother or younger sister, 
we can adjust the level of this game by just changing the words to a more simpler or more common word. I think that this, this also would be a quite interesting way for them to learn English. Mm, yes, I agree with all of you. Although I didn't involve in this game, but I also feel like uh, this is a fun and simple game that can let us to practice our uh, speaking skill and expand our vocabulary. And this game is a great way of putting our brain to work and it's a great way to practice our grammar as well because we have to elaborate and speak long sentences to describe the word. And it's also, like Lang mentioned just now, it's also promote communication and friendship among us. And this game is also encourage our spontaneous use of English language as well. So the game is actually play physically. So what is your experience playing it virtually? Anyone want to share with us? Uh, first of all, uh, playing this game virtually is more fun than playing it physically. Uh, this is because of when you play it virtually, you can play whenever you want. Therefore, you don't need to meet them physically, but if you play it physically, you need to meet your friend first and ask them to spend their time to play together with you. And if they don't agree or need to do anything else, so you can play, you can play it. Uh, in other words, play it physically, need an agreement for our friend and meet them first. In a nutshell, I do prefer to do play this game virtually doing to the issue to the issue it we are facing it right now which uh, is COVID-19 so that let fight this virus which just stay at home and not meet each other and the most important is just play this game virtually. Uh, that's all for me. Um, I think uh, the table should be played physically, should be played uh, face to face because it can, uh, it is fun to play uh, face to face compared to play virtually because uh, if we play table virtually, uh, it requires some, it requires us to have a good internet connection so that we can deliver our message correctly and clearly to, uh, to our friends, to our teammates. Uh, I think I um, agree with what Fai said before. Playing virtually is good in terms of the ease of access. As all of us come from different places and now we are having CMCO, it's not easy for all of us to meet at one place for playing this game. By conducting it virtually, we can interact without moving from one place to another. Everybody can access this game at our fingertips. However, I think that playing Taboo virtually will be less interactive than physically. What about you guys? Um, I'm agree with uh, Faiz, Xinling and Xiaoxing because uh, I think that both have their pros and cons. Um, but uh, I prefer to do it physically lah because um, by physically, we can uh, understand their uh, body language and we can um, uh, get a bond, uh, really uh, 
the bonding is uh, you can create uh, more interactively and more fun but uh, by virtually um, uh, it uh, according to the situation itself uh, for me uh, playing taboo in virtual or physical I think there is no difference because when we play in virtual, uh, I explain it such play in person. It's like we play physically, uh, and there is no difference because when physical, uh, my teammate need to be creative to build sentence for uh, to me to guess the word, and when physical too, they they do the same thing. They need to be creative to build sentence for me to guess the word so i think there is no different and the best thing in taboo is uh this game uh can can then train us to to quick thinking to guess the word because it has a time ah uh, that's for me yeah, I also agree. I think physical and virtual playing taboo would not make much of a difference. But I think the game masters must prepare the instructions well and then also the the cards well. So then like what Injia Yi Ching did, then it for us to play it it was it was fun and interactive, even though we are playing it virtually. All right, so I uh, also agree with your opinion. Um, I think taboo can increase our um, language level in English. We can also know uh, how to describe something uh, in more words. And also, um, I think it can also increase our uh, relationship to uh, get more closer. Mm. Then just now I saw everyone was very enjoying and also feel like very excited and uh, feel like would like to continue playing, right? So um, anyone has anything, uh, still has anything to say? Uh, if not, then I think our discussion come to the end. Thank you for playing this game and make fun together. I can't wait to play our next game together with you all. So, um, do we want to pick the uh, next date to meet? Yeah. I think we can do the same day and time, Monday. At the same time. Yeah, so we fix on the same time on next Monday, 8.30. So, see you on next Monday. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay, Bye. Bye-bye.